Hello and welcome to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we're going to take a quick look around our workshops, both mine and Mike's, and showcase some of the things that we have printed. First, roll those credits. Welcome back. So, welcome to my crib. Let's take a look around. So, as you can see, I'm doing my best to fill this place out as much as humanly possible. So much so, um, when I first moved in and I first started, uh, I pretty much had this racking and these shelves, and that was kind of it. Um, but since then, my prints have bled out everywhere else. So um, we've got the giant Wolverine, we've got the, uh, we've got the Batman, the Alien Queen. We come round here, we look at Wolverine. We've got the Batmobile, Superman, my Fallout armor that I'm in the middle of. This is all of my printers, banks, and the sides. Um, so this is really the side I try to keep all of my printers on. Um, it's, you know, I, I've sort of set my spools up on the uh, on the wall so that I can just pull straight down, nice and easy to change stuff. Uh, there was a really cool Iron Man that sat on my wall. He has since uh, jumped off due to coronavirus and uh, he just couldn't take it anymore. The isolation really got to him and uh, he nosedived directly into one of my artilleries. That sucked. Um, so we come up here, we've got my Thanos, my Iron Man, uh, coming up to my Magneto. We go right up, we've got Viserion the Dragon out of Game of Thrones. We go up again over the door, we've got some of my Guardians of the Galaxy stuff and Hellboy. Uh, up on the rafters we've got my Mandalorian rifle. And then we go over here to some of my favourite prints. So um, this is my cable that I really genuinely love how the paint job came out on that. And we've got um, the Gambit as well. And then we go up to some Star Wars stuff that I've got going on. So I've got my Speedster. Um, he melted in the heat um, when we had the heat wave and I had all the printers in here. It reached about 45 degrees. And there's a rod that supports him and he's literally just melted and uh, started to take a severe nosedive towards me. And at the top, we've got the ATST as well. So, I've also managed to get my Wolverine and things like that in here. Um, but as you can see, I am drastically running out of space. Um, so, I have bled out into my dining room. So, let's take a quick look in there. Okay, so as you can see, we've got some of my bigger prints that ended up in here. Uh, we've got my Tony Stark has a heart arc reactor. Um, which does light up, but the light on the, <laughs> the light on the camera does wash it out a bit. Um, we've got my Spider-Man, my Tom Riddle diary. We come down to the Witcher, and we come across to um, our the pirate ship that we did, our Wally, and then our Superman busting out of the uh, of the Daily Planet as well. As you can see, I've also run out of space here to, <laughs> to put things as well, uh, which is why a number of our things have ended up down the shop. So um, by the shop, I of course mean 3D Filer Print. I 100% think you should go down there if you if you live relatively local and you're not in lockdown or you know whatever going on at the moment, um, and uh, and check out some of their prints that they've got there. They've got some really really nice stuff. Um, but through the magic of cinema, let's cut to Mike's workshop. Okay, part two. Welcome to my workshop. We'll have a look around some of the stuff I've done and uh, what's going on in it. Come in. Right, start off with Sidewinder, that's printing, uh, longer we're just messing around with, but first off, the Wolverine I've done a long time ago, needs some touching up, it's been bashed up a bit. Um, right, now, up on this shelf is most of my sort of skin tone models. Um, Fat Man was off of Thingiverse, I think, and then Arif actually designed the sort of cage behind him. Got Harley Quinn, um, that's Gannicus from Spartacus series, Animal Lecter there, 
Um, Indiana Jones, Rocky. Um, what's his name from 300? Ben. Yeah, whatever his name is from 300. Um, and a couple of old Popeye at the back and then a Terminator and a couple of randoms. We've got Venom. That's one I've done a long time ago. Um, he's had a couple of nasty trips and falls. His tongue has been repaired several times. Right, now onto the second shelf. Got a couple of Deadpools there. Um, colour changing truck I did. Obviously Buddy Christ. Um, a couple of small miniatures I've been messing around with. Um, the uh, Thanos. Can't remember where we got that from, but Arif designed the base for that, and that's obviously not painted, that's printed in a... Uh... Is it Thanos, or is that actually the Ronaldo statue? <laughs> <laughs> Could be a bit of both. Um, last year's Christmas ornament. Then we'll come down to, we've got uh, Hulk, which is my headphone holder. Um, we've got the Iron Man lamp, which is not plugged in, so I won't turn that on. Um, Loki Scepter, that was for Halloween party we had a couple of years ago. Now moving on, we've got Spider Man. That was a uh, that was scaled up massive, wasn't it? Something like um, I think about three hundred and fifty percent or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, something stupid. Um, and then we cut the base so it's fit into the wall. The base than... was one piece originally. We split it down the middle and then cut it into about eight pieces. And each one of them was was big. Um, then moving up, we've got Gimli from the Lord of the Rings. Um, Angelina Jolie, Tomb Raider. Um, Bilbo's house, Bag End. Onto the Stab Dobby. Always goes down well. Uh, <laughs> We have got Zorro. That was quite a. That, that, that's a very unstable print. <laughs> like, it, it does, you don't move that. Then we go on to Wonder Woman with the uh, EL wire electric whip. Moving over, we've got Tiffany and Chucky. Um, once you had one, you had to have the other. On to Aquaman. That's quite old now, that print, isn't it? One of the biggest. Well, it's one of the first. One of the larger. first large ones I did. Yeah. Um, moving over here, we've got Hercules versus the uh, Hydra. We've got R two D two with battle damage. We've got the Jurassic Park scene where the T Rex smashes up the truck. Then we go on to a printable scenery. This is the Sorcerer's Tower. Um, down here, oh, yeah, that's um, Aragorn Sword from Lord of the Rings. Still haven't painted the handle, it's been done about two years. <laughs> um, on to the Batman Sanity model. <coughs> Not many places that fits in this room, it pretty much has to go there, or it doesn't go anywhere at all. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, we've got the glow in the dark slimer lamp. There's actually, that's the first attempt, we actually did a remix of that, we put a base on it um, and everything, that's actually on Thingiverse and on the uh, channel so you can see the videos that's got a link to Thingiverse, all lights up. Um, then we've got the Mad Max War Rig, that's the first part, the truck done, as you can see lined up next to it, what we've also got is the parts I'm printing for the tanker. So that's not going to be small, but printed really, really well that has. It's come out lovely. And I think that's about it for this room. Um, yeah, it's pretty jam-packed in here now. It's getting to the point I'm running out of room and end for trying to find where I can put some more shelves. Um, I don't think how many kilos of filament there is just sitting there on these shelves. More than, more than I'd like to buy. <laughs> yeah. I, so bearing in mind that all of these models also obviously had support material and everything else that came off them, it's got to be well over 100 kilos. 
In oh, fact, okay, probably okay. more like more like three or four hundred kilos. Yeah, I should imagine them. so. I should imagine so. Because you did like twenty-five kilos just doing the Spider-Man. Because yeah. a lot of him was a lot of supports. There's there's thirty or forty kilos just in Batman. Well, that Sanity. that without uh, without supports that weighs sixteen kilos. Yeah, yeah, a lot. So that's about it in here. Um, we'll get back to some more printer repairs. <laughs> but uh, thanks for coming. See you on the next video.